announcement of this Thursday's 51st annual Earth Day celebration is Restore the Earth. There are simple changes we can all make each day to become more sustainable and reduce the amount of plastics floating around in Lake Michigan. This morning, Roe Schmidt introduces us to a woman whose appreciation to the world around us is infectious. We just all thought about it ahead of time, but we don't. Spend an afternoon with Dr. Marissa Jablonski. It's too easy to litter. And I guarantee you will think about it. So frustrating. Every to-go container, every bag, every bottle you see in a place it shouldn't be. When you recycle an aluminum can, it becomes another can in 60 days. She can spout out stats like this all day. And in her words, it's because she was born caring. At age two, I stood on Lake Michigan's shores, looked out and said, we need to work with this. We cannot hurt this. This is bigger than us, and this is the most important thing in our lives. As the executive director for the Freshwater Collaborative of Wisconsin, she's determined to make you care too. Everyone I've ever met on planet Earth wants clean air, clean water, and clean soil, clean food, right? And so we're doing our best to get there, but often we miss the connection. The connection starts with those bags and bottles we talked about. We use a million plastic bags every minute, and we use a million plastic bottles every minute. That's of every day and every night, and it's across the globe. Yes, some plastics can be recycled and repurposed into other things. Remember to separate your plastics and then just put them in the recycling center. Dr. Jablonski says you should recycle what you can. But that's not enough. But are we using a million plastic bottles worth every single minute of jackets, shoes, carpet, fleece? No, we simply cannot. Recycling plastic bags, dropping them off at your local store, we only recycle and remanufacture about 1% of all the bags used. Her biggest tip can be summed up in two words, consume less. So every time I leave the house, I grab my monster bag. This sustainable bag allows her to do just that. It has a reusable cup, straw, to-go container, napkin, and silverware. And I absolutely always have my bamboo fork, knife, spoon set. Meaning when she goes to a restaurant, she asks for no straw. And at home, she fills up a reusable water bottle. But it completely reduces the need for any single-use water container. There's no need for it whatsoever. The same mindset goes for the grocery store. Avoid paper and plastic by bringing your own bag. If you forget your bags in the car, what about carrying your groceries out to the car in your hands? I almost guarantee you that you won't forget your bags in the car again. That may not sound easy, but making lifestyle changes rarely is. So if you look under my sink, I have two recycling bins and I have one trash bin and my trash bin only gets, you know, this full in a couple of weeks. For trash bags, Dr. Jablonski often uses one she picked up on the side of the road or something like this chip bag. This one's small, but you could try to reuse it. Make sure that it gets put into a bigger bag and then tightly closed so it doesn't blow out of a truck or out of a landfill. That's a message she can't emphasize enough. Close your trash bags. So our main goal with landfills I trust them and I appreciate them. And I want to make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to not over flood them with waste. Unfortunately, she says the pandemic has led to more plastic use between to-go containers and disposable masks. It's easy to judge people and it's unfortunate because we're all doing the best we can. But I also believe that we can all do a little bit better. Ask questions about what you can recycle near you. If you live in a place that doesn't have recycling, please bring your recyclables to a recycling center and do a drop off. Because the clean air and water that we all need, it's put in jeopardy when our trash blows into the lake. What we're doing is we're creating more work for our drinking water treatment plant and if they don't catch something, it directly impacts our human health. And as we approach the day we dedicate to our Earth. I love Earth Day. Think about the role you play. So imagine that your name was written on every piece of plastic or every piece of waste that you used. And then you found this can right there and your name was written on it. And the words you say. It's the best thing you can do. Communicate. Tell everyone you know in helping make our world a better place.
This is how we're really going to influence an environmental change and help the environment in years to come.